The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Ah. <laughs> I'm Sheila Amza and now you're going to be listening to me answering all sorts of questions. Ask me anything. Okay, so I'm going to choose these questions that I got from my friends randomly. There's a lot, so let's just close my eyes and choose one to answer. Okay, alright. Okay, this is a good question. What would you be doing if you are not a singer? Honestly, because I've been doing this for 23 years, practically all my life. But I always wanted to be a kindergarten teacher. Perhaps owning my own kindergarten one fine day. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this question is related to my son. I heard your son loves wheels on the bus. Can you sing a Sheila version of it? Okay, I'll try my very best. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Can Sheila speak Singlish? Okay, I try, huh? Uh, speak Singlish, uh, I don't know whether I can or not, but I'm trying my best. When I listen to my friends speak, uh, they always thought like this. I don't know whether that's a good one, but yeah, hopefully I do some justice. Which Hollywood artist is your dream collaboration? I really hope that one day I will have a chance to be an actor. Actually, I'm special. I really like Reese Witherspoon, Ryan Gosling, Ryan Reynolds, all the Ryan. They're my idols. Which Chinese artist do you look up to the most? Your biggest inspiration? is Wang Lihong. He's the reason why I started singing or even listening to Mandarin song at that particular time. I was in high school. He's so cute. At that time, he was singing Forever Love on his piano. I was watching his music video. So handsome and such an inspiration as well. Now, what was the toughest time, harsh comments you ever experienced and how you cope? When it comes to uh, my career, whether it's harsh or not, I, I will take it as, you know, there will always rooms for me to improve. So I don't necessarily think that, you know, as a human being, everyone will like you, everyone will hate you for any particular reason. I would say the harshest comment would be usually people commenting about my body and how they always body shame me after I become a mother. That was really harsh because after becoming a mother, it's not easy to shed all the weight off and you have to take care of a baby. And I went through the emergency C-section, so it took a little while for me to recover, but at that time, I was so down that I lost my confidence, I lost my own self, I disliked myself, and I was not happy. It took me years to overcome it. I'm still learning to love myself, love my body, and trying my very best to lead a healthier lifestyle. So I think that's all I can do, um, you know, to be fully responsible with what you have. Sheila Amza, favorite food and beverages? Ayah, this question my favorite of all time. In Singapore, the red mutton soup is my favorite. Soup is merah. If in Malaysia, I like is my favorite. It's like comfort food. Beverages, I like coffee. <laughs> I seriously cannot function without my coffee. I used to drink lots of it, like shots of espressos. I don't do that anymore. Only coffee in the morning, that's it. How do you manage to express your feelings into songs and deliver them with all your souls? Yeah, I always believe that as a singer, 
you are sort of an actress on stage. You know, when a song is usually around five minutes, it really is not easy to deliver and you know to be understanding each of the words and to express it in, in those five minutes. But that's still something that you have to do. Because I believe that when you just singing high notes or singing the song, the right melody, perfect pitch, but without feeling, I don't think the performance would be something that people can relate to. And it's really important for you to pour your heart and soul into the performance. What is your usual ritual before going on stage? The most important part is, same like other exercises, you need to stretch. And I will be doing some dynamic stretches. Make sure that all of my body are properly warmed up and then warm up my vocal. If you don't do that because your, our vocal cord is a muscle and it, it can be damaged over time. So it's really important to do that. I don't drink that much of water. I will stay away from any crackers or chocolate that can actually stuck in the throat and try to relax as much as I can. Some affirmation, do something that really gives me a peace of mind. And then, I would just want to have fun and just break a leg on the stage. That's it. And the last one. What are the three things you can't do without? First of all, my phone. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's the most important thing, but unfortunately, I got work, I the communication, you know, if I'm out working outside, I need to see my son through my phone. Yeah, I really do need my phone. And another thing is water. <laughs> um, another thing is perhaps, I like mints. So any uh, sweet minty stuff needs to be uh, in my bag all the time. All right, that's it guys. This is me answering my fans' questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I answered all of your questions, all of your curiosity. I hope to see you guys on my concert. If you haven't got my concert ticket, Journey to the Future, that's gonna be happening in this coming 3rd of June at Capitol Theatre. You guys can get the ticket at All Access Dash Asia. Now! Now! Yeah.